Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at Fafaldi web browser. This is a really good web browser if you're sick and tired of Firefox, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer then definitely this is a web browser to be taking a look at. As you can see here this is their website there's a couple of images on here just showing you what you can do and you've got tab stacking as you can see there which means two websites together on the one page which is pretty awesome you can choose new themes you can even install Google add-ons but anyway let's jump straight in now and download the web browser and give it a try to do this you simply need to click on the free download button there the link to the website is in the description below once you clicked on that button it should start downloading if it doesn't then just click on this little link here and press download for Valdi there we go and go save file right once that's finished downloading you can click in the top right hand corner if you're using Firefox or the bottom left hand corner if you're using Google Chrome and run the setup file and you just want to hit run and we want to go advanced and just make sure everything there you're happy with if that all looks good then you can go accept and install right and there you go as you can see that was a really fast install I'm not even going to bother speeding up that install so you can see how fast it actually was in real time this is the web browser if we just maximize that up right now at the very start we've got an option to choose how we want the web browser to look we can go from dark all the way to light which is absolutely fantastic you can even go with hot pink if you like hot pink I'm going to go with blue as I love blue. Let's go on to next. Here you can choose a few options where you'd like your tab bar positioned. As you can see, it's moving around there. You can have it on the left, you can have it on the right, or you can have it on the bottom or the top. I like it on the top as all the other web browsers, it's always on the top and it seems a bit odd having it on the right, but that is totally up to you how you'd like that we're now going to go next and we're going to choose our background for our startup page you can have a nice sunset or you can have a nice jellyfish I like jellyfish I'm going to go with him next we've got a few options here you can watch some video tutorials if you want and start browsing let's just click on start browsing as that's what we want to do Okay, this is your speed dial page. This is where all the websites that you want on your speed dial will be as soon as you boot up your web browser for Valdi. This is basically the start page. As you can see here at the minute, we've just got eBay, YouTube and a few other websites on there that they've just randomly put on there. If we just click on eBay, as you can see, it's now booting up. And there you go. It even has a bar go along the top there. I don't know if you've seen that. Telling you how much more loading time is required for the website to boot. As in like how much memory and so on. Which is extremely cool. Because obviously each picture has a file size. And that bar is telling you how much more file size it's got to download. If that makes sense. Just keep an eye on that top bar and you'll see what I mean. If I click on to, there you go, as you can see, 1 meg is remaining and it tells you there 2 out of 49. So that was 49 things that it had to load for the website to work. Anyway, moving on from that, if we just keep eBay open, you can middle click and it'll open it up. And let's go on to YouTube as well. There we go. These two websites are now booting up. It's not the fastest at the minute, but I am downloading Windows 10. You need to obviously bear with me a little bit with that because that's for another tutorial. Anyway, now a cool feature we can do is we can drag eBay 
on top of YouTube, as you can see there, the YouTube tab's gone slightly darker when we go over it, like that, and they're now both in a stack, as you can see, which saves a lot of space. You can just click between the two if you want, or a very cool feature is you can actually right click on this stack and you can obviously remove the stack or undo what you just done but we can go on to a tile tab stack which then puts the two pages together side by side look at that that is one cool feature i love that 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 is just amazing as you can see, we can do whatever we want. We can scroll through both pages and they're absolutely fine. That, that really is cool. We can even open up another page and we can drag that onto that stack. There you go. As you can see, it's gone slightly darker and it's even got three pages open now. How about that? That is smart. I don't know if you can multitask and do three pages at once, but... You know, if you're building a website and you want to have your website on preview on another tab, then it's definitely a excellent feature for that. Also, another, another very um, cool feature on this web browser is down in the bottom right corner here, they have a little capture page. You click on that, you click on select area, and you can drag the area like so, and then just go capture. And straight away, that just saved that image. As you can see here, it's just opened it up in File Explorer. And there is the image. I mean, that's, that is cool as well. There you go, there's the image. My computer's on a bit of a go slow, like I said, because I'm downloading Windows 10. If we click in the top left-hand corner and go to Tile, um, Tools and Settings, we can take a little look at them. Here you can choose what home page you want Faldi to boot up, obviously. You got your appearance, you got your themes there, you got your start page, which has got the background images and that. You can even choose a custom image if you want like a Call of Duty image on there or Battlefield image, it's totally up to you. You got your tabs, your panel, address bar, there is just so many options built into this web browser, which makes it perfect if you're a person like me that loves to play around with loads of settings and options. But that is pretty much it for this web browser. Like I said, brilliant web browser. If you can't stand any of the others and you want to try out a new web browser, definitely check this web browser out. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.